Hello, beautiful brothers and sisters. This is Virginia. I just have to make a quick video and tell you what happened at the grocery store today. The Lord arranges everything. That's the theme of this video. I had to go there to buy ingredients for lasagna because that's what I'm making for supper tonight. And I got in and the first person I talked to was by the frozen meat counter. Her name was Marie. And we talked for a while and I asked her, do you know that Jesus is coming back soon? And I asked her, uh, if you died today, do you know if you would go to heaven for sure? She said, oh, absolutely, yes. And I thought, oh, so you're born again then. And after a long conversation, I said, well, what denomination do you go to? She said, I'm Catholic. And that prompted me to say, well, how do you deal with, uh, well, you believe in a combination of faith and good works for salvation. And I, uh, it prompted me to say, how do you deal with Ephesians 2, 8, and 9? For by grace you are saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. She said, oh, well, after you, after you're, uh, if you are saved, you will just do those good works. I said, that's true, but that has nothing to do with salvation. It has to do with sanctification, which comes after the moment of salvation. And we talked quite a long time, and I, in the end, recommended to her that she investigate the uh, website or the ministry of Mike Gendron, who is a former Catholic and who so very carefully explains the difference between Catholicism and true belief, uh, being born again. And he talks incessantly about the sufficiency of Christ. And so we just left it there and I went on and I, I had to find the Italian sausage. So I asked a fellow in the meat department named Dan. And um, where's the Italian sausage? He led me over there, he's real nice. And I go, by the way, do you know that Jesus is coming back soon? And he kind of looked at me, um, yeah, you know, and I said, well, if you died today, would you, are you sure that you'd go to heaven? And he kind of looked like, hmm, and I said, well, let me explain to you how simple it is. First, you admit that you're a sinful creature. Then you believe that Jesus is who he says he is. He's fully God, fully man, came to earth, lived a perfect sinless life, he shed his blood on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins. He died, was buried, and rose again from the dead. And all you have to do is believe that. Just believe it. It's a personal encounter between you and God himself. You receive it into your heart. And when you do that, you are born again. You are saved. And you're given the Holy Spirit. And he will never leave you because salvation is forever. It's permanent. And he goes, oh, okay, okay. And he just kind of walked away. Well, I just kept going. And I was looking for cheese. Of course, you have to have cheese for lasagna. And I ran into this fellow who was apparently not working for the store. But he was like pushing a floor buffer. And I said, do you know that Jesus is coming back soon? And asked the question, if you died today, would you are you sure that you'd go to heaven he goes well yeah i said well let me tell you how how easy it is to be saved he said yeah repent of your sins and accept jesus and i said well it's sort of like this and then i went through and told him the gospel precisely and when i as i was speaking to him i could see that he was listening too and I gave him a tract, and he said, thanks a lot. You know, it's like another person I talked to. Well, I came back looking for cheese. I wasn't in the cheese section where that guy was. I came back, I ran into a woman working in the cheese section. She showed me what I, where, what, uh, where what I wanted was. And then I said, by the way, do you know that Jesus is coming back soon? And she goes, yes, I do, and I'm totally ready for it. And I'm not taking the X V either. And that's my little euphemism for, you know what, the V, it's pig Latin. Think about it, okay? And she's not taking that. And, and we started to talk, and it was like this blossoming 
of the love of the Holy Spirit between us. She absolutely was another sister in Christ. And she um, goes to a Baptist church, teaches Sunday school, and I'm not sure all the rest of the details, but it was glorious. It was just true uh, fellowship. And then she told me that this Dan guy who showed me where the Italian sausage was, some something about maybe he broke up with his girlfriend or whatever, but his girlfriend is a believer. And I said, well, maybe he needed to hear the gospel from somebody else. And she said, I think he did. And so just what, planting those seeds and hoping that these people will listen and come around and the Lord will water the seeds that were planted and that they'll get saved. And she also, her name was Kelly. She said, I know that it's any second, any moment that Jesus will come back. And we all know that. So, well, anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you for today. God bless you all. Thank you for coming. I love you all. And thank you for your prayers. And if there's another video, I'll make it and upload it as the Lord wills. So bye for now.